morning everyone, good evening and good afternoon to viewers from all walks of life. This is Denzomos and you are welcome to the channel of truth, enlightenment, freedom and the channel of breaking empire spree. If you are new on this channel I talk about narcissism and narcissistic abuse, I talk about spirituality and I talk about personal and self-development and if any of that resonates with you, I invite you guys to join us. Give us a like, share the video with friends and even subscribe if you haven't already. And for those that have always been with us, you are welcome back and I thank you for your love and support. Now when it comes to narcissistic abuse, uh, it's a very long subject. It's, uh, it's, it looks like every day there is something new going on and uh, um, the conversation can go on and on and on. We can, we can talk about this forever. I think I've been doing narcissistic videos for <laughs> more than two years now. So whenever I have something new, of course I come out and I share it. I share it with you guys. Of course, uh, for the most of you guys who are going through the healing process, sometimes I come around and I give you those things you need to do and the things you need to know about narcissistic abuse and also about healing from narcissistic abuse. So, but today we are going to discuss one of the red flags. So there is one thing I want to uh, bring to your attention, guys. Uh, for the most of you who haven't yet discovered narcissism, maybe you are, you are somewhere out there looking for answers. You may be watching videos. You want to know exactly the, that individual you are dealing with. Are they a narcissist? And in this case, we are basically going to talk about uh, in that case whereby you are dealing with some kind of a relationship, you know, because this situation you will usually see it when you're dealing with uh, cases that involve a relationship or an entanglement or a situation or a situationship, whichever way you want to call it. Um, first of all, I want, I want to let you guys know something that uh, the narcissist is very insecure. So those individuals, they are very, very insecure about themselves. They know that most of those entanglements, uh, they, 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 don't, they don't go anywhere. So they know at some point in time, of course, uh, you may sometimes catch up with them. You may catch up on them and eventually you may sometimes figure out whatever tricks they're trying to play with you. And sometimes most of the nurses they know, I mean like the, more, the most advanced ones, the lesser ones may not, may not necessarily know what is going on, but the advanced ones, they will know usually that uh, at some point in time, all those entanglements they're involved with, mostly they, they, they are to no good. And at some point, those things sometimes uh, they dissolve and... Usually there's, there's going to happen uh, some kind of a discard, whether you do it or they do it themselves. So one of the red flags you guys may want to be aware of is uh, that situation whereby the narcissist, the narcissist is going to set you up. Now, if you're dealing with a narcissist and um, they have met you, they have love bombed you eventually, you know, all of a sudden they have trauma bonded you and all of a sudden you find yourself in a situation whereby... Uh, you are, you are like some, somewhere somehow starting to get addicted to them. So you can you can you can identify a trauma bond by some kind of addiction. So when you start to get addicted to somebody, and at some point you feel they are some of those things they are doing which look like toxic, but at the same at the, at the same time it looks as if it's like um, you are thinking about your mind is playing tricks on you. So you are thinking about you want to let them go, but at the same time you're thinking that oh. When you let them go, you may sometimes be missing out on something. So sometimes your mind tells you that you can always stay there and see maybe sometimes in a couple of days or in a couple of weeks, things are going to get better. So sometimes that, that cycle can go on and on and on, you know what I mean? Because you're living with hope. But at the end of the day, the hope you have is uh, the hope of dealing with a toxic individual. And at some point in time, of course, eventually, um, it is not going to change. The cycle is going to continue they are not going to change, they will always be the same. So the narcissist, what they will do, they will set you up with their best friend. So they may set you up, like for example, you guys have started dating for a couple of months, maybe six months or four months or five months. So what they do because of insecurity, the narcissist, they are insecure. So what they're going to do, they are going to set you up with their friends. Sometimes it will be somebody they know or somebody you guys know into, into kind of coming into your life and sometimes... Um, I can call it a setup or I can call it a trap. So they're going to trap you into some kind of an entanglement. You know, because these, these individuals are useless, first of all. They know already they are useless. So what they do, they go and uh, um, ask their friend or sometimes they ask their friends or people they know. It could even be sometimes their, their own sisters, you know what I mean, or cousins or whatever. So they will tell them to come and try to get into some kind of a relationship with you. 
So those individuals, they will come to you and uh, they will sometimes pretend that they're interested in you. You know what I mean? So the, most of the time, the nurses, they are the background. They are watching everything. You know what I mean? They may, they may be sometimes be monitoring everything uh, through the phone. So those individuals, they will come to you. Sometimes they, they sometimes they'll even go to an extra mile of paying those individuals money to come to you. So those guys will come to you and they'll propose some kind of a relationship. You know what I mean? Those individuals, they already know about you. Remember this, they already know about you. The nurses have told them everything. So what they do is like, uh, they send those people to you so that they can test, they can kind of give you a test of your loyal, loyal, loyalty to them. You know what I mean? Because in, the, in those first few months, the nurses, they feel that um, they have got to make sure that, uh, you know, you are, you are fully secured, you know, like you're fully secured to them. And like, for some reason, it's like you are, you're into them and you cannot let them go. You know what I mean? So they do this kind of thing as a test to see or to test your loyalty. So they will set up their sisters, their brothers, their cousins, their relatives, whatever, they will, those guys are going to come to you and they tell you, oh, you know what, uh, I like you, I've been watching you for a while, you know what I mean, I want to date you, I want, I want to do this and this and this. And sometimes you'll be surprised because most of the times those guys, you know them already. So you, they may be your neighbors, they may be your, uh, the people that people that even sometimes are coming to your house. And all of a sudden you may find yourself like uh, engaging those individuals and they want to sometimes sleep with you. So in some cases that I've had as well, there has happened situations whereby people have been trapped in that kind of a game. You know, it's, it's some kind of a game. That, it's a mind game, that not, mind game that the nurses play sometimes. And some people actually have ended up even sometimes going as far as sleeping with those individuals. You know what I mean? So if you're not really careful about what is going on, because at that point, maybe sometimes you've been thinking about leaving the nurses. Maybe you've been, you've been involved with somebody and you feel that thing is like kind of getting toxic and you're not sure if you want to continue with that relationship or not. So... All of a sudden, this love offer is going to come out of nowhere. So the love offer will come in, and those individuals will sit with you. They will come, oh, you know what, so-and-so, uh, I've been watching you for a while. I know that you're dating this uh, this man or this woman. Uh, but at the same time, I also like you and the things like that. So they are going to completely um, engage you in some kind of a situation whereby they are going to actually propose some kind of a relationship. They want to go with you on a date. Sometimes they may say they want to sleep with you. You know what I mean? So sometimes even people... The ones who are like, if you're, if you're a very loose individual, sometimes you're not careful what's going on, you might even sometimes end up sleeping with those individuals. Although sometimes it may not really happen because normally the nurses is monitoring this, uh, these moves. So sometimes they're on the other side of the phone. Those guys, they will switch on their phone and they will be, uh, they will be uh, whatever, whatever it is you guys will be talking about, the nurses will be on the other side listening to the whole conversation of what is going on. So you have got to be very careful, guys. If you notice somebody coming in your, into your presence and that person, the, that person who comes, who is coming in, they already know you and the nurses are already dating, or you are into some kind of a relationship or things like that. And the person also coming in and proposing some kind of a relationship with you, or a date with you, or even sometimes sex with you, you have got to know that you have got to know, guys, that is a trap. The nurses is listening to everything. They are pretending that they are testing your loyalty, but you don't test loyalty of somebody by setting them up with somebody else into some kind of a sexual or relationship uh, kind of situation. So what will usually happen is that the nurses now will come out of the closet. So let me say, for example, um, depending on what is going to be the situation at that time, you may sometime um, let it go. You may tell them, okay, so maybe I'm dating somebody else. I cannot go on with you. Or sometimes people may sometimes try to say one or two or three words, but the nurses wants to make sure they will sometimes send those individuals with a big purpose. Sometimes they won't pay them, pay them even money. Those guys are going to come in with a very big intention of at least extracting some words out of you. So whatever it is you're going to say, it's going to be on the record. And the nurses, all of a sudden, you won't see them coming out of the closet. They may sometimes come out to jump out from the other room. They may sometimes jump out from it. Maybe you guys are in the bar or something. You may see them, sometimes see them coming out of a sudden uh, and pretending or sometimes acting like they have found you actually cheating on them. You know what I mean? And the first thing you're going to notice is that those individuals in that moment, if the nurses are actually caught up on you guys, that individual, the first thing they are going to do, they're going to run out of, uh, they're going to run off the scene. You know what I mean? So the nurses, the nurses is going to now try to make you believe that actually they have caught you cheating on them. You know what I mean? So these kind of situations, they induce something what they call a trauma. So at the end of the day, it's like you're all of a sudden shocked and you're believing, you're now starting to believe that how, how could somebody, um, that pre pretends or sometimes somebody who is claiming to be in love with you, sometimes you're dating them, how could they now all of a sudden turn, turn all of a sudden the other way and set you up into some kind, some kind of an entanglement with somebody else who sometimes even appears to know you guys. It may not necessarily mean that those people, they know you, they may be people, they may be strangers, they may go and some kinds, sometimes employ people, give them, give, them, give them a few dollars or something like that, go and test so-and-so, you know what I mean? Go and pretend that you want to date them 
go and pretend that you want to sleep with them. Sometimes engage them in some kind of a situation whereby they may sometimes even end up sleeping with you. And that's when the businesses are going to come in and they're going to pretend that actually so they have now caught you in, a, in an act and now you're going to find yourself defending yourself for no apparent reason. So this is one of the red flags, guys. I would like, I just want to put it out there that for the most of you guys, you're not aware about narcissistic abuse. So these are some of the things the narcissists are going to do. You may sometimes, of course, eventually, of course, if you are a genuine person, you will usually brush those things off. You, you will refuse those kind of entanglements, but you're going to notice that particular person is insisting. They are going to insist the first day, you will refuse. They will insist the second day, you will refuse. They will, are going to insist the third day. When you see somebody all of a sudden following you every now and then, wherever you go, they just appear out of, out, of, out of the blue. They want to date you. They are insisting. They want to go out with you. Believe me or not, guys, those guys are on a mission. They have been sent by the narcissist to test you. You know what I mean? So the reason why the narcissist is doing this is because of insecurity. You know, they know that um, at some point in time, there's going to happen a time whereby you're just going to dump them off and you're going to move on, move on with your life because they know that each and every relationship they get involved with, it doesn't get anywhere. So they know that things are not going to work out anyway. So that's the only way they can do to induce some kind of a shock. This thing will send you in shock, you know what I mean? Because for a person who, for a person who is not used to this kind of things, when you see that scenario, it is going to send you in a shock. And the first thing would, the first thing that will come to your mind will be like, how could somebody believe to be your partner or probably uh, potential girlfriend or potential wife or something like that? How could somebody actually um, do something like that to you? You know what I mean? So the, the, the reason is that you are dealing with a toxic individual and you should not be surprised. For the most of you guys, you're not aware. I just want to give you, this is a very big red flag. You ever notice that a narcissist is coming out all of a sudden there's somebody talking to you maybe in an open place, in a restaurant, or sometime in your house, or sometime in their house, and all of a sudden the nurses just jumps out of somewhere. They just happen to be in that in that particular spot at that particular time. You have got to know. It's a setup. And you cannot fall for it, you're dealing with the nurses. So I want to know in the comment section below, guys, if you've dealt with this. If you've seen it uh, along the journey, let me know what has been your experience. And until then, guys, it's been a, a a blessing to have you guys on board share with us your experience like and subscribe comment leave us a comment and push that notification button so that you don't miss out in all the future uploads i'll be putting out there let me know what you think about this much love and blessings there's more signing out Bye.